Hey guys, so I have another kawaii haul for you today. Um, this is just going to be a compilation of things that I've purchased uh, in the past several weeks. Um, so let's get started. So the first things that I'm going to be showing you is just like a bunch of stationery that I had bought from, I believe it was uh, kawaiishopjapan.com uh, and I've been purchasing from that shop. Uh, several times already. Um, they always have really great deals in terms of the pricing for their memo pads, stickers, and all the uh, that kind of thing. And they're always very prompt in terms of their shipping. I've always had really good uh, purchasing, um, like a purchasing relationship with, with that shop. So the thing is with, with that shop though is they do, um, like in incrementally, like they do shut down the shop. Uh, just so that I believe the shop is run by Miki and she either runs the shop by herself or runs it with conjunction with somebody else but um, she closes periodically she clo closes the shop just so that she has some time to organize her um, inventory and work on orders and things like that so that way it's more manageable for her so always pay attention if you can't purchase at that time make sure that you are um, you read the message just to see when um, the shop will be reopened. Uh, usually it's like every other week. So yeah, I never had any problems in terms of buying from that shop. So the things that I got, I got one large memo pad, two small mini memo pads, like just like the regular, another two of like the long like uh, book set of mini memos, and I got a bunch of stickers. So let me show you each of the things that I got in detail. So let's start with the, whoa, oh my goodness. Almost dropped the camera there. Okay, uh, so let's start with the large uh, memo. So let me just go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So this large uh, memo is special. I never seen any large memos um, in this format before. It looks like a manga book. So it's, it's you know, it looks like a book. And instead of opening it up like um, your typical memo pad, um, you open it up like a book. And so there are um, one, two, three, four, five, six designs of the memo sheets. And I really like the cover. I like books. I like the look of books and like the feel of books. So I thought this was really cute. And look. I love the back. If you open a picture book, there are many secrets what you what you want, huh? <laughs> I I just I love it when um Asian countries like have like random English sayings and it doesn't really make any sense, but it is pretty charming. So I love this design. Um so this one is just the Sumiko Garashi characters, you know, I guess like doodling in a book. That's that's not good. Don't doodle in your books, guys, okay? Um, it, it lowers the resale value. Okay, <laughs> and here's just a regular line sheet, and here is just really cute design in the back. I guess this looks like more of a science kind of um, themed sheet, because it has like st uh, statistics um, and like, yeah, it has like stats on each of the characters in the background right here. And let's see what else is there. Another line sheet. I wish I learned, I, I wish I know, or I knew um, Japanese because there's some sort of story going on in here and I don't really understand what's going on. Like that, this to me looks like Polar Bear got abandoned as a baby and that's really, really sad. Um, I know this, I think um, Neko, Neko-san, he wishes to be a thinner cat. I don't know. And then I know Tokage. This has to be something in, in regards to his mama. Um, this is Penguin question mark. I guess he used to be a kappa and he lost his cap. So that, that's really strange. And then I don't really know what this means right here. It's just pointing something in regards to Tonkatsu's nose. So I don't understand what's going on there. But it's still really, really cute. Oh man, that's so sad. Abandoned as a as a baby. Okay, okay, and another line sheet, also very cute. 
and also this one's a grid sheet. So yeah, overall really, really cute um, selection of designs. I just love the format. I, just, I love this. I love it. Okay, and then let's go ahead and look at, well, since we've already gone over another Sumiko Karashi memo sheet, so let's go ahead and go ahead cover the uh, other memos that I got. And these are the Cafe series. I was debating as to whether or not I wanted to get like a large memo sheet of this series because I love, I love coffee. I love cafes. And when I saw these, I thought they were really cute. So I was debating, should I get the large or should I get the small um, or the mini or these? These uh, themselves had a much wider selection in terms of designs. Um, and they also come with like, these really cute um, coffee bean erasers. Um, not to say that I would use them because they're really, really small. They're hard to hold. Um, but I might use them something in terms of like, uh, decorating something or other, I don't know. Um, so these come with a lot, it, can, it comes with I think six, six different memo sheet designs. So all of which are the cafe theme. So let me go ahead and give you a closer look. So this is just the gang going into a cafe and like just like different kinds of, um, yeah my favorite is the ghost meat. I think he's, he's approaching to be my favorite, I don't know. Like he's not the main, one of the main characters, but he's been around pretty often. And here's the back of the sheet, or the uh, packaging, also really cute. And then here's the inside, so it opens up kind of like a book, or like a brochure of some sort. So this is just a chalkboard. Here's the menu. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. <gasps> if they ever make a Sumiko Grashi, like pop-up cafe in Japan, I would so want to go, or like a, a themed cafe. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that would be so, that would be so cute. All right, and then here's the inside. So again, this is just the cover of the, the uh, actual packaging. And then in the inside, you're st you start seeing different designs of the memo sheets. And so they're like coffee theme, cafe theme. Here's just like another inside of the cover sheet. And then here's more of the memo sheets themselves. So very cute. I've never actually tried. Um, I know there's some cafes here in California that have like the, the thick toast or thick pancake kind of um, desserts. I've, ne I've seen them around on Yelp, but I've never tried it before. So I might want to try it. See see if it's really good. And here's another one. Oh, that's really cute. I like that coffee, uh, that uh, chalkboard. And here's melon soda. Okay, so that is, let me, did I miss any of the covers on the back? I don't think so, that's it, yeah. So let me just close that up. And here is the second one. It's essentially the same premise, just like different, different designs. Yeah, same premise. So just different sheets here, just like different Im images essentially, but still the same kind of thing. There's so many sheets. I don't know when I'm ever gonna use it. I don't even know if I wanna use it. I just like the packaging. <laughs> okay, so here are some regular mini memo sheets. And I guess these are like, this is from Kamiel. And these are just like marshmallow animals. These are really cute. I've seen them around. I've seen them in stickers. I believe I got this version as stickers. Did I? Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. I, I've seen it around over on Instagram and um, Etsy, and I thought it was really cute. So decided to get some. And it's just two designs. Yeah, and then I thought this one was really cute too. I don't really know what they are besides they're like fluffy, um, a fluffy penguin, fluffy seal, pup, and a fluffy pig. I, I, I don't understand how a pig can be fluffy though. So um, yeah, I just thought it was really cute. Also again from Kamiel, and yeah, I just thought it was really cute. And the stickers, I got so many stickers, so First set, I got Magical Stardust, just like bears in like witch, witch costumes, and I thought those were really cute. And I bought a lot of these stickers, flake stickers, mostly as um, 
giveaways or like I was like little thank yous for um, in my Etsy shop. Anybody who's purchased from my Etsy shop, I usually include like stickers or things of, of that nature in every purchase. Uh, usually in every purchase. So I was running low on my stock, so I thought these were going to be cute. Oh, it's sweet smooch. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, and then these are just the pandas and bears. That's a really cute design, actually. Okay, and Milky Shy Cat, which I believe uh, Studio Lorian had said so herself when she got like um, stickers or, or something stationary of this design. Uh, kind of weird naming of the um, Milky Shy Cat. It just sounds wrong. I don't know why. But uh, yeah. This is really cute too. And again, the animal marshmallows. Super cute. More pandas. I think these are like mochi pandas or something. Because he looks squishy and uh, yeah, stretchy. Okay, and then here are just these plain marine animal stickers that I thought were cute. And they were on sale as well. These were this was like the cheapest like less than a dollar. Everything else, all the other sticker packs were like, eh, like ranging from like less than two dollars or like two to something. So not terribly expensive. And so, got that. And then as a thank you, um, I got some loose me um, mini memo sheets. So I probably use these as like little, little messages or something like that to my customers for my Etsy shop. So that was from uh, shop. Wait, wait, is it Kawaii Shop Japan? Or Shop Kawaii Japan, uh, Shop Kawaii. I think, I believe it's Kawaii Shop Japan. Yeah, okay. And the other things that I got, I went to the Disney store. They were having a sale over this weekend and it was like buy two, get one free. And so I got, um, I, for, I forgot what this, this little guy's name, he, I know he's from one of the Winnie the Pooh movies. I think is his name is either Huffy or Lumpy. I forgot what it was, but I thought he was really cute. And yeah, so I got him. I, I originally got these two, and I was just thinking of purchasing these two. I was looking at Miss Bunny, but Miss Bunny, like her eyes, every single Miss Bunny that I held up, the eyes were stitched really wide apart. So it didn't look right, but I got, I got Thumper here, and I have... Bambi and I've been wanting to get these for so so long. I knew I know I knew for a while they had it at Target, but I never I don't shop at Target all that often if at all. So, you know, there was never really a reason for me to go into Target um other than that, but I was at the mall and I was I passed by the Disney store. They were having a sale, so you know, this is buy two get one uh, get one free. So, I was like really picking and choosing which one that I wanted. And I think this one was the last one. I didn't see any more. So, um, and I thought it was really cute. So this was my, my free one, my freebie. And so yeah, more to add to my collection. I'm not a hardcore like Tsum Tsum collector fan. Like I don't go out of, the, out of my way to like get the, new, the newest set each month. But I do like Tsum Tsum, so yeah. All right, and then now the last items that I got, which I bought this at Barnes & Noble. I was actually looking for a book, but Barnes & Noble um, recently, like within the past year or so, they've increased like their their like toy section or their, their toy and hobby section, and it's included a lot of really cute toys. So this is the Mufia vinyl series. I think it's series one, because I know that series two came out recently and so these are the characters that you can get there was like yeah there was only two boxes left one of which was already open so I didn't want to get that one this one's sealed all the way so I got this one and then this one is Danbo or Danboard or however which way you want to call it um I believe it's a character from a manga series and he became his like own big thing like um like sometimes you might see him in in like on Pinterest or uh, other social media websites as a kind of like figure for photography. It is really cute. So this one, each color is kind of like a different fortune. 
um, or like a, a good luck charm. So like the green one's supposed to be like, I guess like traffic safety or safety on the road. Um, apparently like my friend told me that over in Japan, like they're really, really, really conscientious in terms of driving and like traffic safety and all that stuff. So um, they're, they're really fearful. She said that, yeah, they're like people who drive there are very, very cautious. So they tend to drive very slow. That's what she noticed. And then um, this one's for love, fulfillment of love. And then this one, purple one's good health. Um, blue is academic achievement or studying. And then the normal um, cardboard colored one is economic fortune or money. So um, I will probably open this guy first just to see what I got. And the packaging, I love the packaging for this. It's, come on, it's like a carton of milk. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to open up both sides. Okay, so this one's a smaller one. Okay, so here's the chair. And I got, like, just from the reflection, it looks like I got something super yellow. And oh! This is half and half fat free. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So he is, where is he? Oh, here he is, okay, yeah, he's on the box right here. Yeah, like, I didn't really have any kind of preference, although I think the strawberry milk was super cute. Also, the soy milk is also really cute too. But they're all really cute, like you can't really go bad with, or like go wrong with any of these figures. So this figure itself is a good quality figure, hard plastic vinyl, um, paint job could be a bit neater, but it's all right. And it stands on its own, though it's, oh yeah, it stands on its own. So that's really cute. Okay, so I will put off that off to the side and now let's take a look at what I got for my fortune. Oh, my uh, half and half guy fell down, okay. So here is, okay, it's taped really well and I didn't bring any scissors. Okay, I'm just gonna have to rip into it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where's, where's, the, here it is, okay. I'm not gonna be able to rip into it. Yeah, they taped it all on all sides so I have to peel off the tape. Okay. Got it, got it. Okay, okay. Awesome, I got it. So, oh, I got a red one. So luck, fulfillment of love. Maybe this might be the, <laughs> that's okay. I'm not looking for anybody really, but hey, maybe this might be the year. Fine, get some luck and love. It's so, oh wow. It's really great quality. So it's a hard plastic. Kind of reminds me of like the um, consistency of a Lego, of a Lego piece. And it's, the arms are posable, like they can move around. The head can tilt left and right a little bit. Um, can the legs move? No, the legs can't move. But oh my goodness, it's so cute. So we just kinda, well because of the keychain, it's a little bit top heavy. But I think if you can, well, I guess you can screw, uh, screw, take the screw off. So let me just take off the screw. And you can just have him as a figure on his own. And he just stands on his own. Oh my goodness, it's really cute. Oh, I wish I got more. But it, this one was kind of on the pricey side. It was... How much was it? Oh, I can't even remember. There was no price tag I didn't see. So that's why I only got one because I, I imagined that it was going to be on the pricier side. But the box was um, that I got it from had a lot. And yeah. No, for me, I, I like my goal, <laughs> I really wanted the um, economic fortune one. Any kind of fortune like figure, I, I always like aim for the money because uh, yeah, I'm a... Uh, Monetary uh, fulfillment here is kind of like one of my goals, <laughs> but not so much as studying anymore. 
since I'm not like a student anymore. I will be, like maybe in the future I'll go back to school. Um, you know, good health, good health is always important. So I would have been happy with like any of them really, but I, my goal, I really wanted the, the money figure. And I would have been happy with like the purple figure. Red, it was kind of ambivalent. I didn't really care much for it. Traffic, I thought this was so bizarre, but I guess if that was the case, I would have just like kept, kept him in my car. Um, yeah, but oh, I really like it. If I go back to Barnes and Nobles, which I don't think I'm gonna go back anytime soon, but I really like these figures, so yeah. I might just put him on my um, backpack. Yeah, so for something like this, I wouldn't mind putting him on my backpack. So cute. But you can also get off, take off the screw and just have him as a, a figure on his own. So yeah, very cute. Okay, so I'm going to put the screw back on and that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!